So if right now in October, it is not the time to build a PC, when is the time that you can safely build a PC that's gonna be the best optimized for you to get the best components for your dollar? We're gonna talk about GPUs, CPUs, and other things you absolutely have to know before building a PC at the end of this year. So let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. We have a lot of awesome content on building PCs, PC hardware, water cooled build, tech news and analysis of what's going on in the market. So smash that like button. Leave a comment below as well. I want to know if you guys are planning on building a PC at the end of this year. All right, so this year, everything got thrown for a loop, especially with the recent RTX launches that people really can't get any of these GPUs. So we can agree that right now, it's not the best time to build a PC. I'm gonna tell you a couple of reasons why this is very important and when you may actually be safe to build a PC. That is, if you wanna get the best for your buck. If you build one now, it's just not gonna be that optimized. You're really gonna be getting either components that are too expensive or components that are at the end of their lives, like some of the CPUs right before something new comes out. So the first reason why you shouldn't be building a PC now, that's going to be with the GPUs. This is a twofold problem. First, Nvidia has no stock of the RTX 3080, nor does it have any RTX 3090s if you are looking to be big baller. Now, the RTX 3070 also just got pushed back to October 29th, so that pretty much means that October is done for. You can't find a 3080 and you can't buy a 3070. That means you're left with pretty much just a Last generation 20 series GPUs, which even in the used market have stayed a little bit high price wise because people can't get 30 series GPUs. So that's why absolutely avoid building a PC in October. This is going to be a primary reason. So when would it be safe to build if you're going to be sort of looking at the GPU as the main point of your PC build? Well, I think in November definitely is when it starts to ease up. I'm going to say between November and December, right before the holiday season, is going to be a primary time that I think everything's going to start to align. More stock will come of GPUs. AMD will have announced their big Navi GPUs, hopefully start shipping them soon after. So that November date, somewhere there between November and December, I really think is going to be your best bet. And then the second reason why you should consider delaying your PC build, that's going to come down to the CPUs. While now you do have an okay selection of CPUs, I mean, Intel has the high-end gaming CPUs like the 10900K, 10 850k so if you wanted to go the intel route you may be a little bit safer but i would advise you to wait because amd their next ryzen 5000 series and if some of these leaked benchmarks are any indication something like the 5800x or 5900x may actually be nearing around 5 gigahertz clock speeds that means that they're going to be a lot more comparable to the intel gaming cpus than they ever were in the past possibly even overtaking them who knows it's possible some of these chips could actually be faster than a 10900K, that would be pretty incredible, and I think that would be really bad news for Intel unless they respond with something absolutely magnificent in terms of price to performance. Ryzen seems extremely exciting, so that's why you really should hold off on your PC build. Now, is it the worst thing in the world if you buy a 10900K now? Of course not. It's still a good CPU. It's still going to perform for gaming. If you view it in the bubble, you're still going to have a great time with it, but it's going to be expensive for what it is. And with the new Ryzen processors coming out, you may be able to get something that's even faster for maybe close to the price of a 10900K. Not to mention, maybe it might be a better platform with more future upgradability, PCIe Generation 4, things of that nature that are only going to be positives. So that's why I say really hold off in October. Of course, we can expect there to be, you know, stock issues and things of that nature but then again hopefully by november and december the cpus will be released in decent quantities of course if they're that good we can expect them to also be difficult to find at first and be sold out but i think hopefully by sometime in november and december maybe you can get your hands on these and they may prove to be really exceptional and high performing value cpus that may absolutely demolish whatever is out now not only on the intel side but also on the ryzen 3000 side those have been fantastic cpus as well from the 3600 
all the way up to the 3950X, but hopefully AMD is looking to do a huge performance leap, much like Nvidia did with the 3000 series, absolutely crushing the previous generation. That way it would really cement their place as the number one CPU choice for gamers and enthusiasts. A third main reason why you should wait until November and December to do your PC build, that's the traditional holiday season when all sort of the retailers and the companies plan to sell the most amount of products. They're going to do the most marketing. It's possible we may see some sales like Black Friday sales as well as some holiday sales coming up at the end of the year. And also we can only assume that companies like Nvidia as well as AMD, they really want to get their act together in terms of stock and manufacturing. That way they have more than enough supply in order to meet the absolutely huge demand that we've seen, especially for these GPUs. But I think just like the Nvidia GPUs, the new AMD Ryzen, the 5000 series will also have a massive amount of demand just because they seem like they may contain a really nice bump in performance compared to the current generation Ryzen when it comes to gaming. So as we approach the holiday season and the end of the year between November and December, Definitely retailers are going to be looking to get more stock out there. You may see some sales. Now, don't think you're going to see sales on anything that's really hot. Like, for example, the NVIDIA 3000 series GPUs. We can't even find them in stock. So we are definitely not going to see any sales or bundles or anything of that nature. The same goes with these new CPUs. You may find sales on previous generation products. Then it's up to you if you want something that's going to be a performance tier below whatever comes out. If you can get it at a good enough price, even the 20 series GPU if they start marking them down considerably. Recently, I just saw an RTX Titan at Micro Center for $1499, which is still expensive, but it used to cost over $2,500. Of course, for $1499, you can get a 3090, which absolutely beats the pants off the RTX Titan. Aside from a very few specific Titan level programs that take advantage of the Titan optimized drivers, aside from that, the 3090 is a much better value. But still, a Titan RTX for $1499, that's $1,000 off. So that shows you how much these previous generation GPUs are being discounted. I've also seen a few 2060s and 2070s and 2080s go for a few hundred dollars less than they used to cost new. So that's something to consider if you can't find or if you don't want a 3000 series GPU. If you can get a previous generation CPU or GPU for considerably cheaper. It may make sense in your build as well. Even though, of course, their performance tier lower, nobody's going to complain about a 2080 or 2080 Ti for the most part. You can still play your games. Then the trick here is just to get it at a really good price so you don't rip yourself off knowing that there's something better out there. Another very good reason to hold off until November and December to build a PC, even the other components like power supply, RAM, memory, they have been slowly going down in price and we can assume that hopefully by November and December the price will drop even more and stock will be a lot more plentiful before the end of the year, that, therefore improving on higher prices and low stock shortages that we experienced earlier this year. So that's definitely going to be a big bonus because the more stock of components you can find, the cheaper it's going to be and then overall your build you'll be able to add different things to it maybe you can get a next level gpu or a better cpu instead of having to overpay for your ram or for your hard drives and things of that nature so those are the primary reasons why you should really be avoiding building a PC now, primarily of which are these GPU stock issues, the eminent CPU releases, everything else is just a cherry on top. The GPU really is the biggest issue here, especially if you're a gamer or even if you're using it for a workstation, you want to make sure that you can get a newer generation at a good price if you're planning to build a PC. And of course, with the CPUs, Ryzen looks extremely interesting. Sort of summarize our findings from previously. These GPUs are very powerful, and yes, a lot of CPUs technically will bottleneck. That means that they're going to limit the frames per second that you're going to be able to get on something like an RTX 3080, 3090, and yes, even the 3070, which it looks like they may even surpass Intel in gaming performance for this generation. We're going to be talking a lot more about this, so that's definitely something you want to wait for because we're basically almost there. And the GPUs, October 28th, and then we just have to hope that there's enough stock of them and they're released in enough numbers to satisfy at least some of the demand that's out there but remember even november and december you're still going to have a hard time finding a lot of the really high-end demand items like a 3080 maybe these new ryzen processors i think it's still going to be difficult but it will certainly improve somewhat from the situation now where it's almost impossible to find a 3080 and the cpus haven't been released yet so i think gradually it'll get better i imagine by early december maybe you'll have a better shot at catching some of these items more in stock as well as just having better 
better prices so you're not paying scalpers or getting ripped off by trying to buy some of this new hardware. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. We do a lot of these analysis of the PC building market, PC hardware. We do cool builds on the channel. Remember to hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video.